hello world and welcome back to my zen and ohm space. This is a little bit of a cool down power yoga routine that I normally would do after a walk that I work my heart up and wanted to cool down but also have a little bit of a vigorous movement along with that cool down. So it's still going to be a power yoga routine. However, I want to keep it nice and smooth as we do about between 10 to 12 minutes of this little power cool down, I should call it. So welcome to my power yoga cool down routine. Without further ado, let us start. If you want to start your watch to make sure you record your workout, you may join me in doing so. I'm doing a little bit of a challenge um, between the strengthening exercises and cardiovascular exercises. So I really want to count all of my mini routine adding up to my power yoga time. So with that, let's meet at the top of our mats again. Hopefully I remember this time to turn on my microphone and you can hear my voice without any background music again. I'm going to give this a try. Let's inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And here in the halfway lift, your back is flat. I wanted to mention that it is a flat back. I want you to inhale your arms straight ahead. Now out to the side, like you're flying. Back and clasp the fingers so that you're pulling your shoulders backward. And technically down. This is a back and down. And then fold yourself a little deeper Naturally, your hands are going to bring the, be brought up to the sky, like so. And then swaying back and forth as you're going into your first inversion. A little softening the neck. And remember to breathe. Breathe in and out. Place your hands by your side, both beside both feet, and walk yourself back to downward facing dog. Okay, on your first down dog tonight, just walk it out. You can hear some popping and cracking. That's all good. You're loosening up the body. If this is after your workout or after your walk, just make sure to give your spine some attention. The spine carries us from head to toe. Or should I say, from head to sit bone. <laughs> As you walk, we're going to try to do a couple of inch warm. So walk inching back with your hands towards your feet. Now we're meeting at the bottom of the mat. Let's roll ourselves up. One vertebrae at a time. Rolling your shoulders back and down. So like I said, we're just going to do some inch warm. Going down, walking, inching all the way. Here. And let's do... And a down dog in the plank. Down dog in the plank. Just loosening up the shoulder joints, the back of the legs. And let's inch back. Inch one, inch one, inch one. Roll it up, back and down. On your next one, as you go down all the way, inching back, we're going to go into some squats. Walk. 
while you're in your down dog. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. It's interest. So back up. I hope that you're warming up as you loosen up in this cool down. Always remember the roll of your shoulders back and down, back and down. Loosen up the neck as well. So now, without further ado, we're going to go back and actually down on the mat to have a little bit of a real cool down, cool down. So, you might be wondering, like, why are you getting your heart rate back up? You're supposed to be cooling down. But remember, I call this power cool down. So, as we start to roll back, hugging the knees or hugging at the legs, rolling yourself to massage that spine, making sure that you're watching yourself and you're not overdoing your neck, like you're not rolling to the point of the momentum, that crunch on your neck. So leave it loose. And now, as you go back all the way down, bring your knees up, your feet by your butt up. And we're going to do a couple of what I call windshield wiper, or what most people call windshield wiper. You can leave your feet on the ground, or you can lift them up, and you're going to roll from side to side. Again, the focus is on our spine, because I really want us to feel every vertebrae. I mean, you might not be able to feel every single vertebrae, but every segment of your spine. So let's start on the top, where we were always cocking our head to look at this computer screen. The cervical spines need some attention. You never want to have your head be so forward that it is over, way over your chest. So, and then coming down where our thoracic spine is next, so the C's, spine, the T spine, and ending with our lumbar spine, and it doesn't end there. There's the sacrum, and then there's the coccyx. Boom. So a little bit of anatomy lesson. Okay. So everybody must feel like their spine is loosening up by now. So we're going to hug one leg at a time. Bring your right leg this is called the wooden removing pose. So bring your right leg to hug yourself. And sometimes you can bring your elbow and hook it into the knee and just bring it side to side. Like you're cradling your baby. Your right side of the baby. So now instead of just focusing on our spine, we're focusing on the muscle of the legs. Since in the beginning we were stretching those arms out, now we're ending with the legs. So you're going to try to straighten out the leg and bring yourself all the way up using your arms here to hug the leg. As you strengthen it, straight, leave it straight. Oh my goodness, I can't talk. I hope that my microphone is picking up my silly goofy instructions here. Okay, now let's bring that all the way down. Now hugging the, right, the left side, the other side, whichever side you didn't do. Let's bring it back and forth, cradling that left side baby. Don't hold your breath. Be sure to inhale deeply into your nose.
get right back up here. And thanking each and every one of you for joining me tonight on our power cool down, power yoga time. From my heart's yours, namaste.